Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Dharma Geosphere. Today I will be interacting with you on the physical conditions of the Earth's interior. So this uh, interaction will be divided into two parts. One, uh, I'll give you one good uh, complete uh, figure of the internal structure of the Earth which shows the layered structure of the Earth showing the crust, mantle and core and the various uh, discontinuities and the uh, um, chemical uh, layering and the mechanical or the physical layering in just one diagram try to capture everything and then go on to write about the physical conditions of the earth. In the physical conditions of the earth you should write about the temperature, uh, the geothermal uh, gradient as you move from the crust to mantle to core. Similarly also talk about the pressure gradient as we move from uh, crust to core and then you should also write the differences in the density that are observed as we go down up to the inner core and then also talk about the gravity situation how it occurs across the layers of the earth and uh, similarly the seismic velocities of uh, the various uh, layers in fact you all know that it is based on the uh, seismic uh, waves variations that the uh, entire interior of the earth has been divided into crust, mantle, core and then in the last we also talk about uh, the uh, geomagnetism particularly of the core and uh, mantle how uh, it uh, varies within these two uh, uh, regions and uh, layers of the interior of the earth. Uh, so please uh, stay focused, don't get unnecessarily confused with going on writing about the uh, chemical composition of crust, mantle and uh, core. That is not uh, required here. They are talking about the physical conditions of the earth. That is temperature, pressure, density, uh, and, uh, gravity, uh, uh, seismic velocities and the geomagnetism or the magnetic field of the earth. Okay guys, so now I'll uh, quickly show you uh, some slides here, uh, more than uh, writing, if a question comes on, uh, describe the uh, physical conditions of the earth uh, interior, try to put in as many diagrams as possible, I try to capture uh, uh, one graph and one diagram for uh, each of the physical conditions, so just uh, keep practicing those diagrams and just draw that, that should be more than enough for you to fetch good marks. So this is the uh, broad framework of uh, the uh, presentation, uh, we talk about the internal structure of the earth, just do one good diagram which shows everything about the um, internal uh, structure of the earth which is the static side and the dynamic side. Uh, the chemical side and the uh, physical side, so which captures everything about the internal structure. But since the topic is about the physical conditions of the Earth's interior, we'll talk about temperature, the thermal gradient, the pressure, density, gravity, seismic velocity, and magnetism. So uh, this is the uh, diagram which captures the inter entire internal structure of the Earth. That is the geosphere in spherical shells. So you should write the static model and the dynamic model and also show how the density variations uh, um, occur uh, from the upper crust to the inner core and also the seismic velocity. So this captures a very impressive diagram. Uh, you should be able to uh, uh, note this and uh, practice. Then coming to uh, the temperature, how hot it is, you can see the surface of uh, the sun's temperature is 5500 degrees centigrade whereas the earth's core uh, is even more than that. So the geothermal gradient is the rate of temperature change with respect to increasing depth in earth's interior. So as a general rule uh, the crust temperature is rising with depth due to the heat flow from uh, much of the mantle. So the earth's internal heat comes from the planetary accretion and also due to the radioactivity. And this is the Earth's internal temperature difference. You just you can clearly make out the difference from the mantle and after the mantle. And at the center, the temperature may be as much as 6,730 degrees centigrade, and the pressure could reach up to uh, 3.6 million ton atmosphere. So here is the another diagram which shows uh, how the temperature uh, from the lithosphere gradually decreases and from the lithosphere onward from the upper mantle to the lower mantle it's almost a straight curve and then here it slightly changes at the uh, 
surface is near 2,900 kilometers, and again from the outer curve. Uh, core it again moves down uh, in a vertical direction and then in inner core it's nearly vertical. Then the pressure, the more you descend the earth's uh, interior, the amount of pressure increases because of the weight of the rock. Uh, the pressure inside the earth increases as you go deeper. So the deeper you go, the greater the pressure. And it's now at, at this present knowledge uh, it's sufficient to treat the pressure at any point in the earth's surface has been determined by the weight of the column of the rock above the point. Accordingly, one would expect that the pressure should increase at some regular or very smooth function of depth, as you can see. Similarly, the pressure gain gradient, you can see it is nearly linear uh, uh, to the mantle. Um, Whereas once it reaches uh, the inner core, it uh, uh, more rapidly uh, decreases because the alloy is more dense. So this is the density variations within the Earth's uh, interior. You can try to show this. So, but you should also adopt uh, the uh, views of uh, Bullen and Birch, who uh, have now uh, got the density values. Um, which increase more quickly uh, at the uh, surface at the beginning and then. So this is the diagram which will show there are two uh, um, lines drawn here. The one which is dotted is by Bullen and the one uh, that is thick is uh, Birch. You can see clearly how the uh, graph describes the uh, de uh, decrease in uh, density up to about um, 3000 kilometers uh, depth and suddenly again it becomes straight and at around uh, uh, 6000 uh, kilometers depth it again uh, rises. So this is a very important and a new diagram after the studies by uh, Bullen and Birch on how the uh, uh, um, density value increases um, uh, initially steadily then almost more steadily and then at uh, the depth of uh, 3000 kilometers it suddenly increases um, and then again it uh, flattens. This is the velocity and density is another diagram you can show it in a horizontal fashion then coming to gravity once that the uh, increase of uh, density uh, with the depth as a, its function has been shown you can easily draw uh, graphically the a diagram showing uh, gravity at uh, different depths. You can see that the interesting feature is that there is a curve um, uh, at the uh, 3000 uh, kilometers uh, depth which shows a slightly um, mountain type of uh, surface after that it uh, slowly decreases. So this is the uh, gravity situation and the physical conditions of gravity below the earth's crust um, and mantle and core. And then coming to seismic velocities, you know P-wave P -wave velocities in the outer core are 8.1 kilometers and inner core it is much greater, 11.3. And then the P-wave velocity uh, in the mantle uh, is 8 kilometers and it increases up to 13 kilometers in the lower mantle. So within the mantle itself P-waves uh, uh, vary quite greatly, almost from 8 to uh, 13 kilometers. Per second. Then the S velocities profile in the mantle is almost similar, but uh, beyond a point, it's difficult to uh, understand the way S waves behave uh, in the mantle. This is the low velocity zone and the earth uh, uh, quick uh, shadow zone, where at arc distances of between uh, about 103 and 143, no P waves are recorded, so a shadow zone is created there. So you can show how the Mm, uh, P waves and S waves move along uh, the uh, transition zone, the core mantle boundary and the inner core and the outer core boundary and you can also specifically show how P wave velocities change across uh, the uh, B, C, D, E and F zones. Then the earth's magnetic field as you all know uh, the earth's magnetic field is caused by the uh, outer core, the outer core rotating around the inner core creates the uh, magnetics, it creates like a bar magnet as you can uh, uh, see here. This is an important diagram you should uh, draw when you are talking about not only the physical conditions of the earth but also uh, if you are talking about the principles of geomagnetism. And another one which you should draw is the uh, magnetic field is created by, as I said, rotation of the outer fluid core around the solid inner core 
This creates an electric current which generates an electromagnetic field similar to a bar magnet with positive and negative fields. And then uh, the Earth's magnetic field fluctuates over time due to the unsteady nature of the geodynamo which is the outer core and the inner core and uh, this is how uh, it fluctuates. So uh, this is very clear, you, I have uh, separate notes on this and also a few recent papers on uh, how the uh, density and the seismic velocities have been uh, determined by the recent studies, but at the cost of repeating, this is an important diagram, uh, just picture this and then you will be able to write a lot. Say so picture speaks much more than the words, a picture will also give you much more marks than the simple writing in a routinized way. So guys, uh, that is all uh, for today. I hope uh, you all uh, grasped uh, these uh, simple um, um, differences in the temperature, pressure, density, gravity, seismic velocities and the um, geomagnetism within the Earth's crust, physical conditions of the Earth. So that is all. So guys, um, stay healthy, stay safe, stay focused and all the best and bye.